Mayo Clinic is shining a powerful new light on its efforts to reduce the risk of hospital-acquired infections, ultraviolet or UV devices that blast disease-causing microbes. Make no mistake, this room's already been thoroughly cleaned. It's a never-ending process in hospitals. Just disinfecting the patient rooms at Mayo's facilities in Rochester, Minnesota, is a major operation. We're talking just over 3 million square feet in the two hospital campuses, about 1,244 rooms. In spite of the best efforts, however, cases of hospital-acquired infections still cause troubling consequences. It makes hospital stays longer, uh, patients uh, feel worse, and sometimes they can die of these infections, and we would like to prevent that whenever possible. There are approximately 900 patients dying of hospital-acquired infections each day in the United States. One serious healthcare-associated infection is caused by a bacteria called Clostridium difficile, or C. diff. It can cause diarrhea, fever, and severe gastrointestinal complications. Even with disinfectant use, its spores are very stubborn, capable of surviving on surfaces for months which is why Mayo Clinic conducted a study of UV disinfection. Its ultraviolet C wavelength of light can kill a wide variety of germs and penetrate areas most cleaning techniques can't reach. The surfaces that are hard to disinfect are those that have bumps, ridges, and, and indents, such as the TV remote, keyboards, and fabrics, textiles, are very hard to disinfect. After a five-minute cycle on one side of the room, all such objects are flipped over for maximum exposure. Then another cycle is run on the other side of the room. The results have been dramatic. We tested this for about six months, and we were pretty surprised at how much difference this made. The C. difficile rates on the units treated with UV light had gone down by 30%. It did add about 25 minutes to the entire room turnaround process, but a C. difficile infection can result in three extra hospital days, so we figured the 25 minutes was a bargain. Naturally, patient restrooms get a blast of UV light as well. Mayo now has plans to deploy additional UV devices to other C. diff hotspots throughout its hospitals. Well, we think these could be useful in many different places. Um, we're talking potentially in the ORs after they've been cleaned. Uh, we're talking in some of the areas where patient care equipment is held in, in, in a clean storage room, that type of space. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.